Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back. Because I have yours, we're going to pull from the What's the Tea deck to see what you got going on. You guys, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Um, again, um, I say that because I can't stress it enough so we can get my videos out there to like-minded individuals. So there's happiness haters. Somebody has been hating on you. You are not bothered. You're in your mode to where you're taking care of yourself. It was a dirty offer. And at some point, and I think this was like the third card, somebody is ignoring you and there was a dirty offer or we can keep it the way it was. And the scarcity tactics is because they're, they're, they're hating on you. They don't want to see you happy. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. This could be um, a situationship. This could be people dealing with your situationship or people around your situationship that is allowing or is causing friction and wanting you know them to feel this way about you yeah self-worth and you have to recognize your self-worth when it comes to dealing with people this way these cards came out i'm gonna look at this the distance is here i don't want to take all of these cards it's like 20 cards here but you have to recognize your strengths and this is when you decide to start realizing your self-worth okay you know i say i wasn't gonna do it but Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and see what comes out. So self-worth is what came out first. And then we'll go ahead and see, yeah, a reunion. So the, the reunion is based upon, um, to me, an offer that, you know, you are, you feel some type of way. You feel like there's some type of deception there. Um, but, you know, there has to be some type of unity um, you, excuse me, there doesn't have to be some type of unity. You want there to be some type of unity, but you know, the scarcity tactics is because they feel like they're going to lose you and they recognize the chemistry that you have. There have been detours. There's been karmic, uh, justice. You had to trust in divine timing and trust in your higher self and activate your higher self because you were at a stalemate in regards to somebody who had some type of control tactics that they were using. And it says dirty offer, scarcity tactics, ignoring you, happiness hater. They didn't want to see you happy with anyone else. So you had to recognize your strengths and think about the things before you distance yourself. I'll put these right here. And air energy is here. You could be dealing with the air sign or you could have been dealing with the air sign. So right now the travel card to me, Sorry, my eye is itching. Right now, the travel card to me is like the four of swords energy, rest and relaxation. But it also is like you having to meditate and recuperate. <clears throat> Somebody's throat chakra is off because I haven't had any issues with me. And I just almost kind of like choked, like I was gasping for air, that type of choke. But the karmic energy is because you had to balance yourself out right here and deal with what was and what you couldn't change and you know that's the thoughts that you had the isolating thoughts when this person was ignoring you and you know now they want to come back that's totally up to you have you recognized your strengths are you have you grown from uh where you were in the past with them you know and there's a reunion there their soul ties but at some point there was a lot of you know again bull crap that you had to deal with when it came to this person so I'll pull from the hidden, uh, the heart's hidden secrets to see what comes out, but the deception is here. I'll clarify some of these cards to see what also comes out as well, but we're just going to see, yeah, possibilities. It can all be so simple, simple, Lauren Hill, um, but you rather make it hard, free-spirited, um, adventurous risk, and then it says long game craving, and then we have twin flames, so we have soul ties, and we have twin flames, shared feelings, reflection, somebody is reflecting because there's some type of finality that you are walking away, uh, it says farewells, leave behind, and unsure, they are unsure what you're going to do, you're unsure what you want to do, because it was always a back and forth, oh look, I didn't even see this, and running, it was always a back and forth, fourth thing ghost and disappearing invisible so that makes sense in regards to where you are when it comes to this situation and so you have to make a decision what you want 
Okay, yeah, so I just believe that when it came to the situation, you had to get out of fight or flight mode and move forward and trust in divine timing and, you know, also look and have activation and that's soul searching when it comes to hermit type energy. I'm going to pull from the empath Reiki and um, I forget what the other name is uh, for this deck uh, to see what comes out tarot wise. Yeah, we had the four coins energy holding on tight. So you, you had to pull your energy back. And this may have been in regards to money, finances, but it says holding on tight. And um, it kind of came out a little bit of sideways, but the opposite of holding on tight is letting go. So the possibilities are like you had to pull your energy. <clears throat> you had to pull your energy back for four years. It's been like in order for you to disconnect yourself and contemplate what it is that you needed to do with this situation. And so the possibilities could be great, but you can't really rely on possibilities five of wands energy um yeah it was conflict there it was too much conflict too much friction when it comes to twin flames that mirroring energy and also having shared feelings but at the same time you had to reflect and see how much more conflict you were dealing with because somebody had to see exactly how you felt when it came to this situation and therefore when it came to this person running and avoiding and, and playing games with the offers and you know it says it has chess right here but when it comes to the scarcity tactics they were playing che checkers not chess you were playing chess and so eight of cups energy it kept you stagnant in regards to moving forward and so now they're trying to come out and queen of cups energy um you know have compassion about or you're having compassion about certain things because again the conflict you being stagnant and queen of cups your intuitive feelings comes with over higher self and divine timing trusting in divine timing and they have to uh, make a decision because you're not sure what you want to do judgment realization comes with the soulmate energy of the realization three of wands and you've grown from this situation you've a you're being able to earn the vacations and to be able to pull your energy back financial physically mentally and spiritually and grow from these situations which are basically these cards here you are able to grow and trust in divine timing and get some balance within yourself because the burdens ten of wands energy is here the burdens are here and you had to deal with the burdens and the possibilities of what if it doesn't or what if it does and you had to move forward because this person was stagnant magician and manifest the things that you want this person was stagnant and so therefore the realization was that you had to grow on your own queen of wands energy confident ambition the queen of wands says confidence shines from the inside when you love yourself own your flaws and rock them without caring what others think you couldn't care about what others think and that's the reason why you had to isolate yourself and distance yourself from this type of energy because it was causing you to feel some type of way and if there was going to be a reunion or this was a soul type type of energy and you wanted unity you had to pull back your energy to kind of see what it is that you needed to do for yourself and the bottom of yeah not the bottom of the deck seven of swords hidden deceit you had to really look at them ignoring you the scarcity tactics the dirty offers you had to look at all the control tactics the you know being um um what is it uh avoiding you and also um what which, which one was it the deception and it was something else here Doo -doo -doo -doo. it was i i could have swore what what did i think was out uh oh well no it was something else that i thought was out and it's not here but the ace of wands energy motivated beginnings so you had to have the courage to be able to start a, a resolution you know meaning that you needed to start um and get the fuel under your belt or the fire under your belt in order to move forward and that is how i see that energy i'm going to pull from i grabbed this card deck so i might as well use it i was going to use this into a tarot deck to see what comes out but uh this card tried to turn over the ace of pentacles ace of pentacles comes out uh which is having the courage you know and so the ace of wands energy you had to have the courage to be able to step up and just say you know what at this point i have to do what's best for me and therefore even though you're unsure about this energy yeah the nine of wands setting boundaries you had to look at the possibilities of being adventurous setting yourself free and taking a risk and also that's the uh king of um that's the king of <clears throat> excuse me 
That's the king. Mm. I am about to choke. That's the king of pentacles energy. But page of cups is because you know there are more opportunities and the ebb and flows of life, the will of fortune, going with the flow is not helping you right now. And rolling with the punches is not helping you. It makes you feel lonely and desperate and you're not that. And so for the uh, yeah five of swords to come in the reverse, you've let your ego go about taking it personally about this person. Five of swords in the reverse let you know that when you have when you make a decision or make uh make a decision to either resent the past or let go of the past or to be able to move forward from the past and not really be in an ego state of mind you know you're sending strength and healing and you might be open to a reunion or reconciliation but you have to see things from a new light if that makes sense and so therefore when it comes to look at all these cards that came kind of in reverse Page of Wands, which is yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery. The only thing that's real is the present moment. Page of Wands, uh, in the reverse, I'll take that in the reverse, is like you had to um, understand that there could be impossible ex expectations, but the Seven of uh, Swords being in the reverse lets you know that, you know, it's like, you're going through imposter syndrome and you think that people are keeping secrets from you or it's some type of deceit or it's you having an unwinnable situation. Again, your ego plays a part in this situation and you don't believe that Ten of Cups energy, it's possible to have love with this person or have a foundation or to be secure or to feel um, like uh, your dreams are going to be shattered. You're feeling like your dreams are going to be shattered or that it's going to be some type of uh, tower energy and that's where you're like well only thing I can do is let fate take its course empress in the uh, verse is empress in the upright is like you creating or seeing the beauty in yourself but the empress being in the reverse just lets you know that sometimes you gotta let go and also understand that this know that these are what's blocking you and that you're dependent on somebody else's en energy four pinnacles in the reverse let you know that it's time for you to release. Remember I said here, the four pinnacles in the upright is holding on tight and in the reverse is you letting go. So it's you contemplating all of these things and actually not just having a realization because this is judgment in the reverse. This is you understanding that when it comes to you having justice or you being able to see things from a different perspective, you have to be the one to make these decisions for yourself and it's hard and you you might not want to do it but this is you not just having a realization you taking action you know and you having to really know that it's time you know it's time for me to to, to fold them and let go and so the bottom of the deck is the world energy which is you moving on but we're going to clarify these energies here to see what else comes out because again you look at all these cards that keep coming out it's just meant you have so much to say but the hermit energy is you soul searching you pulling your energy back and meditating on it and you uh, actually soul searching to try to figure out if you're going to have the courage and desire to end this actually or you just playing with yourself so at this point you cannot say something that you're going to do because uh, you don't know if what's the right thing for you right now just as energy doing the right thing you don't know what the right thing is and when it comes to you being the queen of swords you can be cut you can be cunning you can be uh um what is it called like set boundaries but you need to make sure if these are the right boundaries that you want to set because you in the back of your mind know that you want a reunion but you know it's too much conflict in order for you to make a decision right now you have too much inner conflict in order for you to make a decision on how you want to give to this situation six of pentacles energy given to others wholeheartedly without expecting to receive the same yourself but with the seven of pentacles energy lets you know that you've planted the seed this person knows who you are you know who they are they are they are they play a lot of games because they're afraid to um uh to say what it is but you know that's some type of deceitful tactic that they do when it comes to uh, playing games and them being strategic so they give a lot of dirty offers they ignore you they keep you stagnant and things like that and they run and run from you in order for you not to really recognize your self-worth and understand that you know 
they they don't want you to be happy with anyone else that's why happiness hater is here and so again the distancing and things like that it's a tactic because they're afraid to really think about where they are and to have love from you but they know that you're able to manifest the things that you want and so now they realize this is the final decision for you to make and this is one that you've been contemplating on making for a while if that makes sense i'm going to pull from the modern love deck just a couple of cards to see what comes out but yeah you 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 know it, it could all be so simple but they're playing games you guys are both wanting each other and feel like this is a soulmate twin flame relationship look at these all the cards just keep coming out and no the world energy completion yeah move, you know either moving on having some type of completion moving on but that's why you're soul searching but you know again all the cards come out seven of swords because there is some type of insecurity you don't know if this is something that you're willing to do you know you want to look and find the answers first and then when it comes to the ebb and flows of life the uh, will of fortune energy you have to be able to say hey look this is something that i if i want to go with the punches if i have the strength to be able to do it if i can make the decision only time will tell and go from there but Again, the Ten of Wands lets you know that you've been working no matter how many burdens you have. You've been working through this. You've been getting through this. And with the Ten of Wands being here, you have to uh, figure out what your responsibility is in this situation. Or is it you because you keep allowing these things to happen or you keep struggling in regards to a King of Swords energy? Remember, the air energy came out. You could be dealing with the King of Swords, but with the King of Swords, it's you making a, a, a decision and overcoming challenges, but it also is you seeing a bigger picture and you leading by example, but you're in limbo and this is what you're doing. You are kind of waiting for the phone to ring or they are waiting for the phone to ring, hangman energy, or uh, surrendering to what it is, your heart, your heart's desire and not basically making head over heart decisions and we have the moon energy you know you guys are both waiting for each other to make a move who's going to make the first move you know you're you're talking to them talking to the you're talking to the moon they're sitting on their bed waiting for the phone to ring and acting as if they're not tripping off of you not being around but you know this is energy that you guys are both matching i'm going to pull from the messages of love to see what comes out because this card deck is right here by me. Oh, oh, the True Emotions deck is right here, too. I'm going to pull from there, too. But let's see what comes out. Yeah, I just believe that you guys are both wait You're waiting for one. Obstacles, unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. And so that is what it is. And the bottom of the deck is support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. And so they, they might not want to tell people their energy, their feelings. Your inner circle might be you finding uh, energy through everyone else and getting the courage and and uh, through, you know, uh, going out and seeing something different and actually trying to see if the universe will send somebody to you because you're trusting in the universe and not really in this situation anymore. So that's kind of how I see that energy. I'm going to pull from the true emotions, emotional deck, and then um, I think that's, what i want to do no i'm going to pull from the soulmate what is this i think it's a soulmate twin flame and um karmic partner deck to see which one this is but again jazabelle yeah so this is how this person gets a, he they get along to they go along to get along jazabelle type energy and that's not your energy and they act like they're happy single and it says setting goals career focus and dating and doing you but this person is, uh, this is the only way this person knows how to go along to get along. They don't know about travel. They don't know about manifestation. They only know that uh, what makes them feel good is having sex and also uh, thinking that they're happy single until they realize that they've lost, they're losing you. And so that's up to them on what it is they're going to do. But again, this is how they feel that uh, it helps them get through. Uh, everything and again it's unhealed wounds that are blocking them from moving forward so that's why they do the runner chaser type energy yep and there it is runner chaser and then the bottom of the deck is mirroring back to where we are twin flame um it says your twin flame is reflecting back the truth this can cause a feeling of vulnerability which can trigger one or both 
twins to run from the relationship. And that's what they're doing. That's why they distance themselves because they don't know anything else but to play games and things like that. So we have romantic offer possibilities and runner chasing. So we have possibilities here. We also have a dirty offer and we also have runner chaser here. So this is the same energy, but I'll go ahead and read what these mean so you can decide what you should do from here because and we also have mirroring which is right mm, somewhere around here mm, it's somewhere here where did i see mirroring okay it's somewhere here but anyway it says expect a romantic gesture that could surprise you perhaps an engagement or taking things to the next level celebrate your your re reunion your union and so remember the union is here reunion is here right and there is there's an offer somewhere here but anyway uh the possibilities is here so um it says um there's potential in the relationship however uh know that this could translate to being a project and it's up to you to decide if it's worth it and so again the possibility comes out with you realizing both of you guys are free spirited adventurous and take risk takers but there are possibilities here um of you you know and the offers that may may happen but again runner and chaser you and your twin flame may switch back and forth between the two roles often out of fear and experiencing true intimacy so that is ghosting disappearing and because they feel like they're happy single and um, that's why they're going to keep distancing themselves until they realize that um, this is the final offer for you. So let's go ahead and pull from the crystal deck. And then we'll pull from the four agreements. If you want to know the uh, meanings, I'll put the links up above. It says always do your best. In the end, you've done your best in the situation. Take your life and enjoy it, it says. Um, you are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You were born with the right to be happy to love and to share your love just to be to take a risk and enjoy your life is all that matters and this is what this energy says right here which is doo -doo -doo -doo. where's the free spirit at right here free spirit and risk taker so it says take your life and enjoy it again you have the right to be happy and so the damber right is the crown third eye and heart chakra higher communication which is you Trusting in divine timing and also having an activation, higher self, angelic vibration, and universal love. It says, as I grow, I reach new heights of understanding. Your understanding that no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. And this person, place, thing, or situation was here to teach you a lesson. So what are the possibilities of a reunion or a union? So there you have it. Let's go ahead and let this old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.